The current agri-food system is actually not working from an environmental perspective. It's completely unsustainable. Conventional farming destroys the soils on which all life depends. With 25% of the, the world's soils being degraded, the major decline in biodiversity is largely attributable to agriculture. Biodiversity matters because it's the network that supports life. We depend on biodiversity. Agroecology tries to uh, reduce inputs needed for production and therefore to use biodiversity and the supporting services, the regulating services to enhance production in a more natural way. That's why agroecology and biodiversity go hand in hand. So Agroecology Transec is already having positive impacts in Inspira Territorio by inspiring us. This work we have been doing on the chestnuts with the uh, experiment on the, on the soils, it stemmed as an idea within uh, Agroecology Transect. Y he observado que la finca uh, llevaba en unos principios poca productividad y ha ido subiendo esa productividad a pesar de que son castaños centenarios. Es decir, el, la biodiversidad que hay de, de plantas y el no laboreo de alguna forma ha beneficiado a la rentabilidad de, de, del cultivo. No creo que sea una competencia, sino que es una, un plus que ayuda a que el árbol eh, genere más y tenga también más defensas ante cualquier enfermedad que pueda afectar. When we talk about the cultural value of biodiversity, a good example is the flowering meadow you see behind me, because these flowering meadows are part of a landscape. And to have these meadows and this grassland, we need to have cows that graze them. And the grassland you can find here uh, influence cheese nutritional and sensory quality, and that's also what makes this cheese being so unique. Alors, on essaye de lier les pratiques par rapport à la diversité de nos prairies afin d'aller au but recherché. On essaye d'adapter euh, les fauches, par exemple, par rapport à la date de pousse de la prairie et des espèces présentes sur euh, les prairies. Et euh, l'idée, c'est de, de continuer à préserver cette diversité et de ne pas forcément euh, augmenter la taille de l'exploitation, car aujourd'hui, on a quand même un produit de qualité qui valorise et qui permet de dégager un revenu I think strip cropping could be a real solution for farming because the thing is you can keep sort of your standard practices. You can keep your crop management the same, but you just do it in a strip. And at the same time, you have all the benefits of biodiversity because your system as a whole gets a lot more biodiverse. Since we have switched from a monoculture system to a strip cropping system, we can see throughout the farm that the different kinds of insects and different kinds of birds can now find a habitat everywhere. So if there is a pest in the arable crop, the natural enemies can quickly uh, find the pest. And also, we think it's really pretty in the landscape, so that also gives us a lot of pleasure, of course. Functional biodiversity act like an orchestra. The plants are the musician, and it's not about how many uh, musician you you have you have to combine the right instrument the aim of functional biodiversity is that they play together in a harmonical way this should sound great at this stage of the project we already have some clear results that agroecology benefit biodiversity and that's important to consider that the benefits of agroecology are not a notion but a fact. Without grazing, without people, this wouldn't exist. It would just be this almost lifeless forest. There wouldn't be butterflies, there wouldn't be pollinators. The general diversity would be much lower. We people are a force for good. We can be that.